Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun, we sell Ranger Boats and Lance Campers. We've got a beautiful day here to do a video. Nothing but some uh, little marshmallows in the sky today. Sunshine shining. And we are going to be checking out this 2023 Lance 1575 travel trailer. This one's going to be the star of the show today. A uh, little quick information about it is this one comes in weighing at 3,655 pounds dry weight. You start adding, you know, water, propane, and all your gear to that. Gear to that, of course, the weight's going to go up. But uh, this one comes in at 3,655 pounds dry. So uh, most of your mid-size SUVs, 150s, 250s, and 1500s, 2500s should all be able to handle this one. Uh, but this one is designed for like your mid-size trucks and mid-size SUVs and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, next is price. So this camper right here comes in retailing around $65,546.25. That is the MSRP, the manufacturer suggested retail pricing. My BSRP pricing on this one is $49.9. So that's what, 15, 15 six off. That's a, quite a big discount. So if you are in the market for a smaller size travel trailer, smaller four season uh, travel trailer, I might add, then I've got the camper here for you. You can give me a call at 423-892-6272 and we'll get you set up with a nice camper um, or any of these other campers that I have here on the lot. Campers, boats, I, I really got just about anything you want now. But uh, we'll start on the inside of this camper. Walking into the camper, you'll notice that you have your queen size mattress on the right. Immediately when you walk in, we have uh, the double pane acrylic windows on all corners over here. They all have the day and night shades as well day shades and night shades block everything out and they all kick out super far too to let a lot more lighting and natural airflow in above you'll find your swing out tv you can swing it towards the bed area that way you can watch your favorite movie at night or you can swing it towards the dinette over here and watch it from over here you can even bring it more forward if you want to. That way you don't have to squint as bad to see it. Also up here in the bed area, you're gonna notice this orange thing that says King on it. This is gonna be your antenna, Wi-Fi, cell phone booster thing. Uh, it is an added option. It does not come standard on the camper. I believe it's 1100, somewhere in there, uh, dollar option. Uh, we've got our little switch here for the slide out. You have one slide out on this camper and that's going to be your dinette over there. Thermostat for our furnace and um, actually the furnace isn't controlled through that. That's controlled through this right here. We'll get to that. Um, but you control the AC unit through it and the fa fan. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. We've got our radio and speakers over here. JBL system and it also has a nice subwoofer for it. You can really get the jamming in here. Nice little shelf space down at the bottom. AC plugs, USB and DC outlet. And I believe that is your only one over here. Yep, just this one. And then you have these up top over here. You still have one extra that you can plug into for AC power or 110. Underneath the bed, that's gonna be access to your pass-through storage. So you can access on the inside or outside. It's kind of dark, so I don't know if you can see anything in the video there. Right up top here, this is gonna be one of your closets. Actually, like your only closet. The one and only closet. Then you have some shelf space. Some more space below that one. Below the cabinet storage, you're going to find your true McCombie system. So I've got this same setup in my camper. It is your tankless water heater and your furnace all in one. It takes up less space, more efficient, and literally like an endless stream of hot water. 
right now we've got our fridge it is a separated fridge and freezer deal nice size plenty of room in there for a bunch of lunchables and tv dinners a bunch of beer and stuff like that juice boxes whatever your go-to is uh, it is a three-way fridge you can run it on ac gas or dc dc is going to be your battery you would have to turn that switch on and then you'll be able to run it off the battery uh, this is where you check your solar panels this one well single solar panel on this one it is a single 190 watt solar panel and then right here is where you're going to run that true McCombie system. You have your own designated panel for it. Okay, kitchen. Let me move my little paper there. So uh, this is going to be your kitchen. You've got the single bowl sink. Just like that. If you need more prep area, if you're cooking or whatnot, you can uh, slide in the sink cover there and you have more prep space. You can also use the table and the dinette for prep. I tend to like to uh, cook outside of the camper that way I'm not stinking up the inside and on my current camper that I have now it's really not an option since the kitchen's outside so uh, this right here going to be some storage space then you have your microwave right to the right of it just your uh, like standard size microwave and this right here if it had batteries in it that would turn the light on whenever you release that uh, there's a hood, a range, whatever you call them. Three burner stove top and oven. And then it is self igniting. You can see the little spark back in there. You don't have to stick a lighter far back in there and try to light it. But uh, they do make the stove kind of easy to clean. This griddle is super easy to remove and then clean underneath. Uh, let's see what we got under here. Well, that's neat. I forgot all about this. Uh, we've got some storage under the sink over here. And then over here we've got some pull out trays, which is really neat. That's a, a good idea, Lance. Good job. Dude. I like that. Very nice. You can, uh, might even be tall enough for like cans. I bet you can put a bunch of cans in there if you wanted to. Spices, all that good stuff. Simple stuff like that goes a long ways. We've got a 110 outlet here. You can plug in your Instapot, Keurig, Crock-Pot, whatever. All right, so we're at the dinette now. Like I said, this is a single slide out unit and your single slide is the dinette. It actually converts into a 46 by 78 inch bed. So plenty of space and these cushions are super comfy, super soft, but yet firm, if that makes any sense. And then this right here is going to be what you call the bronzite interior. So for 2023, you have lapis, bronzite, and grayson to choose from. Grayson's going to be like all gray like this. Bronzite's going to have some brown separation to it. And then the uh, lapis is going to have like a, a royal midnight blue separation to it. I think they all look good. Um, bronzite's my favorite, personally. Uh, let's see what I need to show you Got quite a bit of storage underneath these benches also Look at that and then underneath you have even more storage Crawl up underneath there. There we go So this camper for the size of it it has a lot of storage I'm noticing Even more on the outside that I can't wait to show you as well but I do have one of these windows kicked out so you can see how far these go out. That's not even as far as it goes. It would have kept going. I just couldn't reach any further. So this window will go further, but I can already tell a temperature difference. If I didn't have, you know, that door open or this window open, it, it'd be getting hot in here just because I don't have the AC going. And it's hot as like Satan's freaking armpit in here. So uh, got a little bit of storage up here in the corners. I've had people tell me that this is where they store their liquor bottles and wine bottles. It's not a, you know, bad idea. If you're concerned about bugs getting in through this window, drop that screen right there, latch it in. You don't have to worry about them anymore. I'm sure a bug or two will still find their way in the camper somehow. They always do. If you don't have any bugs, you ain't camping, right? 
We've got our dry bathroom here. Hello, that's me. Uh, you got your shower, separated toilet, and your toilet paper holster is actually this little neat thing right here. I thought that was pretty cool. Keeps, you know, your knees from hitting it on the wall there. But you do have quite a bit of room in here. I am 200 pounds and six foot tall, probably six foot one, six foot two with the hokas on here. They got a big old shoe bottom on them, but I have plenty of room here, especially since the skylight's there. Coming out, I still have room over here. If I was to sit down on the jaw, and I can still close the door there. So plenty of room in the bathroom there. We got us a show going on out there. Heck yeah. All right, if you've made it this far, we're on the outside of the camper now. We've got the, uh, what you're going to need is a two and five sixteenths ball for this camper. We got the Lipper Smart Jack here on the front. One 20 pound propane tank and your battery will go right behind it right there. And then everything's going to be nice and covered up by that nice cover right there. That's uh, pretty much everything here on the front, minus it's got these little LED strips right here and these aggressive looking cutouts here. I don't know really what else to call that, the, the mold or whatever. All right, here we've got our fully passed through sewer tube. You can put as big of one in there as you want. We've got this fully passed through belly storage. I know if I was a kid, I'd be running in and out of this thing, going through this door right here little secret compartment but uh yeah i'd go wild in this thing as a kid pretty cool also on this side we've got our fully automatic side awning it has the led light strip at the end of it really lights things up at night time and it also has auto wind sensing added to it so it'll roll itself back in if it gets too windy got our torque lift revolution revolution glow steps these suckers light up at night so you can actually see where you're stepping four seasons package so what that means is we got the heated belly pan if you can see that the heated belly pan means that if you have the furnace going you're going to be supplying heat to all of your holding tanks water lines all that good stuff stuff that needs it we also have a portable or external tv mount on this side ac outlets and give me one second and usb and 110 outlet was that a park satellite yeah satellite connection too lance does not skimp on their tires look at this read it with me goodyear endurance best tires that you can put on a trailer no china bombs nothing like that we got quality tires on there this door right here locked so people can't access it and no carpet or anything it's like an easy clean material so i don't really know what this compartment's designed for it's not going to be a generator compartment i know that it ain't big enough uh, maybe your dirty shoes or something just put stuff in there that you know since it's easy clean i, I don't know y'all y'all get creative help me out here Jeez. we've got a patio light on this side and we're also going to have one on the opposite side so our campground side has one it's going to be a white light and an amber light. This is going to be our external radio mount for the JBL portable speaker. And then our low water drains right here. All right. Let's see. On to the back. What we got back here? We got a backup camera. That is extra through the factory. That does not come standard. I think it's about $700, $750 option. But it's nice to have. You have your running lights on on your truck and you're going to be able to see who's behind you uh who's beside you if you want to make a lane change it's a it's a good safety feature to have license plate holder we're missing a screw there that's no good i'll have to get another one put in there all uh, right here in the back let's see do not use tank flush valve unless blah 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 okay so this would be your uh, black water flush. I was just making sure that this went in the city water connection, but this does have an onboard black water flush system integrated into it 
Anything I'm missing over here? Heck yeah. All right. So up underneath, we've got our black and gray water drains. Tank capacity is going to be 26 on everything. You got the 26 gallon freshwater tank, 26 gallon gray water, and 26 gallon black water as well. Gray water is going to be like your shower water, sink water, and black water is going to be, you know, nasty toilet water. And then we got our main drain right here that everything leads out to, which is super convenient. You don't have multiple places to, you know, hook onto. Uh, all manual jacks around all four corners. And I think that's it on this side. Well, up underneath the slide out anyways. Always watch out. Make sure you don't beam yourself on this slide out. That makes for a bad day. Uh, we do have an awning slide out cover. Makes it super convenient so you don't have to get up on top of the roof and sweep this thing off every time you run the slide in. Got a nice size storage compartment here in this slide out. Nice space. And then also on this side, this is really where all your campground connections are gonna be. You're gonna have your 30 amp plug in, your uh, parking satellite connections, uh, let's see, we'll go here first. This is gonna be your city water connection, and then this is gonna be where you fill that 26 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, here, for all my people that like to give their fellow campers a show, all my freaks of nature there, we got this external shower. You got your cold, hot water. Uh, most people actually use it for, you know, like rinsing off your feet, cooking utensils, dog paws, all that good stuff. Uh, this is going to be our external hand warmer. In the winter, this really comes into play. Uh, it gets cold outside, obviously. Stick your hands underneath there. Maybe even throw the shirt over it. You can get your shirt warmed up and everything. I'm speaking from experience on that, by the way. All right, here, this is going to be access to your water pump and some water lines. And then you have your main battery disconnect switch here. And this is the other side of the pass-through. So, pretty sure that's it, guys and girls. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch, something along those lines. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment below, or you can call me at 423-892-6272. If you're interested in a camper or a boat, just give me a holler. I'll be more than happy to help you. My email is going to be in the description below as well, but I prefer you call me. I can get two weeks worth of emails done in five minutes over the phone. So I, I don't take much of anybody's time. I know your time's valuable. Mine is as well. So I try to get straight to the point and help everybody, you know, to the best of my abilities. So uh, if you're also not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Join this Fish and Fun family. I believe we're a little over 27,000 subscribers now, which is freaking awesome. I really did not expect that, so I really appreciate everybody that's joined this Fish and Fun family so far, and thank you to all the future subscribers as well. But uh, yeah, that was the 2023 Lance 1575. Like I said, this camper comes in weighing dry around 3,655 pounds. They estimate the hitch weight to be around 350 pounds. You know, that's going to go up if you start stacking stuff underneath this, you know, belly pan and you know adding water to the tanks and all that good stuff so that that does go up but that's your starting weight uh starting or total msrp is sixty five thousand five hundred and forty six dollars and twenty five cents my bsrp pricing brad suggested retail pricing is 49.9 on this one i noticed inside on the paper they had sell written at 49.99.9 i just gave you 99 bucks off from that so i'm always giving good brad deals but yeah, if you're interested, just give me a call, 423-892-6272. And that's all I got for you. So let's see, I got plenty of campers here to video though, so you'll be seeing me soon again. Um, so until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.